Welcome to Triumph Fight Center. Good having you guys here. Welcome. And second off, uh, my name is not upside down, it is inverted. There's a difference. Alright guys, so uh, that's great. Come on up. Sarah, stand up. Um, this, this woman means the world to me. And, uh, just truly amazing person to have in my life. And shouldn't have asked for a better person to be, uh, to be filling, filling my heart. So, thank you. This guy is how he changed in all these years. And I think Brazilian Jiu Jitsu have a lot of, uh, with that, you know, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu changed a lot of people's life. All these guys here, a lot of those guys do uh, charity events. And this is a Jiu Jitsu lifestyle we, we live from. It's not just to teach you guys to be a black belt, but to teach you, uh, you guys to be a black belt in life too, you know. Be a better person, help people, growing as, as every day, everything in your life, you know, as in your spirit, in your soul as a people and the other thing today as you can see here is very important is appreciation and recognizing. Uh, all these guys, I, a couple of guys I just know now, but uh, man, uh, it's part of my life now, you know? it's part of my family and all they say is the family I choose to be a part of. Now, these guys are part of my life, I choose them to be part of my life and what can have better than have friends and these guys are not a friend, it's a brother. They uh, appreciate so much, and Sarah, you changed this man's life. Appreciate you too. At the young age of uh, three years old, he, he said to me, Dad, I assume you're alright. Uh, I'll, I'll always be there for you. They're dealing with weather that sucks 10 times worse than this with a combat load fighting for this country. All right, guys? So when you feel it sucks a little bit, think about that. Think about our men and women um, and this 4th of July coming up as well, too. Go! So what we're going to do first, we're going to work on the entry to the move, kind of how to maintain the position a little bit, and then we'll go into some cool stuff. All right, so I'm going to borrow this little guy. <laughs> Start in like close guard. Uh oh. Backing up. The, the weight, the weight limit has been reached. <laughs> Mike wants to stand up to open my guard. So what's going to happen? I'm going to open it as I feel him standing. So go ahead and continue standing. My feet are going to go to both hips. Up. Step. Control. Step. Kick. Wrap. If I'm too jammed up, move him over a little bit. So at this point, I like to reach down and just grab the fabric here, if I can. It's like a little fail safe. Well, I take this one and I hook it behind that leg. Because now, can you step back? Now if I wanted to, I could come back to this sleeve and I'm keeping this knee pulled in. Can you step back? Grab the Achilles, push with the foot, lift the hip. Got this leg folded underneath so I can come up. Now we're here. Now we can start working whatever we like from there. Everybody got it? One, two, three. Hand up, shout it out. Put him in the air if you like it loud. We only got one shot, so let's make a count. It's a takedown, nobody can stop us now. Stand up, shout it out. Sing it loud so the world can't drown us out. And before we depart, let's leave a mark. Cause light shines brighter in the dark. Go! All right, guys, thank you. Message of ours. Take care of yourself from the beginning, from the foundation. You know? Because sometimes you start training super hard as a white belt, blue belt, you got a purple belt, you're all messed up, all broke. And you start to, 
<laughs> you need to believe yourself. You need to believe you can do it. If you have the technique enough, you're gonna be able to fight big guys. You know, I fought a lot of big guys for absolutes. I won some absolutes. I lose, but I put myself there. But I put myself too, you know my limits. If the guy get in the arm, I tap. They don't wanna be a hero. They don't wanna, oh, I didn't tap for that guy. No, if you get it, I tap. But I, I try, you know, I go there and put myself there. And, you know, and I'm very happy to be here today to share this with you guys here and be able to in his way to be the best, best man. Man, it's the first time to be a best man. <laughs> That's good. But uh, this guy here, is, I remember when he started and all the way to now, the change he did in your life. And he's still doing it. You know? like, nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. He's not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Keep you working to be a better man, a better person, a better woman, of course, every day. Okay? That's the way I care myself and I try to for, for all my black belts and for my students, and they do the same thing, they pass this along, and then that's uh, the more important thing. Be a black belt inside, try to be a black belt inside the mat and outside the mat, all right? Here, palmo, drive and keep the pressure, but don't just drive and leave your legs behind. Bring your feet close. Okay, now if I come this way, I have pressure. If I go that way, I have pressure. And then if you hit on here, and you start stretching leg a little bit, I still have pressure. But right now, with this control here, I'm gonna step on his pants. Then I have full control here against his pants. If you try to move his leg now, he doesn't have control. My hands are already free. Head on the chest, I can keep him down. Head come under, stretch him a little bit. Yoga class. And then I switch my hips. When I switch my hips here, again, my legs need to be closed. My legs part, I cannot apply pressure, you're gonna be able to stay. My legs closed, now I can drive my weight against him. If you try to face me, I have all my body to push pressure that way. Like this. I can maybe hold, I don't want to have the pressure. It's very important to always keep your legs close to you, toes in the neck, and then I can apply, can apply pressure here. And the same way I can apply pressure, I can switch in and direct his fast. And again, I'm here, start from the pass and stop his hips. Okay, one time you go here, you'll be able to pull your arm, then you start working more, controlling his hips down here. From here, go, switch my hips. Face his leg, using my head to track his arm. Open his knee, bring it over, push, feel the other hand. If you don't feel tight, adjust. Take your time. You have the leg lock here, you're gonna move back, Get your points, don't rush. Take your time, you already pass. You have good control, don't rush, you're not gonna lose. What you already get? Open the D. Gonna bring all the way up, close his hand. Now what I do, I'm gonna move, gonna loop my hand there, and pass this lapel on his arm. Control, and bring it in. And it's very important here when I bring it in, I don't let my hand slide. A lot of people wanna get this and start going, let the hand is light, you don't want to create too much space. And then you grab it, control, pull your hand back against his neck. Okay, if I leave the gap right there, you're gonna be able to defend too. And then before, always before you do the motion, have the control you need. Here I don't have, I need to bring this hand really tight against his neck first. Now I have it, because right now I can stop pulling pressure on my shoulder. Switch my hand. Stretch my legs, start melt to the shoulder, and now I'll stop and drive my shoulder against his face. One, two, three! <laughs>